From the look of this door, this must be an ultimate research lab. All right. But which one? This looks very mysterious. Oh, the maid lab. There we go. Oh, it was a maid's like hat. Whoa, hat thing. This is actually really creepy. Look at the tiny doll thing. The little one. I'm aware. Hey, why'd he come in here? The room gives off an antique vibe. It seems as if these are Victorian. These decorations adorned the British Empire at the peak of Queen Victoria's reign. Then, this must be my research lab. During the Victorian era, employing a maid was considered a status symbol. If I remember correctly. Speaking of the Victorian era, Jack the Ripper was from that time, correct? Why are we bringing that up? That is correct. Ever the detective, I see. All right. Just randomly gonna bring Jack the Ripper up for no reason in particular. I guess we can. So this is the ultimate maid's lab. It does seem to be perfectly suited for Kurumi. Well, just gonna say what you said before again. In the Victorian era, many servants lived beneath the manners in which they were employed. They were known as the downstairs people, as a stark reminder of their lower station. <laughs> Lowly station. And what about you? Why are you here? Excellent. Victorian. This room is quite tasteful. I don't dislike a gothic style such as this. Hmm. Yeah, me too. I see. This appears to be Kurumi's research lab. Being in here brings a tale to my mind. Kurakio closed his eyes. How do you say his name? Kurakio. Kurakio, okay. I always just call him Kyo. It's probably just easier. Closed his eyes and spoke as if he was in a trance. The era is 19th century England. A gentleman who pledges loyalty to the queen and a modest but beautiful maid. The story of a love that blooms between the light and darkness of social classes. Hey. That sounds like the plot of a manga for girls. <laughs> is that so? Then are you saying I am like some young love-struck girl? Are you really a girl? And you're covering that up. So that is how I am reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Hmm. Can we slap the doll? I want to slap it so much. Maybe we can. Yes. It's not like a clickable thing. We'll check this first. There's a doll at the dining table. Perhaps a family dinner? This is my research lab, and I presume these figures represent those I must serve. Not for, like, practice? Weird. And the wall on the right. Well, don't mind if we just slap them. Oh, we, oh, we can. <gasps> yes! Oh. You knocked off her head! <laughs> wow. That dog. Yes. How silly. I wonder if she's gonna be annoyed at this now. Oh, is All that right. it? Wait, in in the back, there's still another table. Where's it? See it? Ah, there you go. Yeah. All right. Did no. that annoy you at all? I'm just curious. You just like destroyed your dolls. No. no. Okay. Um. So now you can click on the right wall and then click on the door. I wonder if there's a bunch of me uniforms in this closet. Why can't we look inside? Oh, we can. Oh wow. Oh. That is Whoa. fancy. Instead, there were a bunch of laundry machines, vacuums, and pressure washers. These appliances will prove most useful when I perform my cleaning. Huh? Cleaning? You mean the school? Krumi, you don't have to do that. I do not agree. I do not mind. To serve others is a maid's duty. Selfless devotion is the principle by which I perform my responsibilities as a maid. I can cast aside my personal feelings for the sake of serving everyone. I suppose that's what makes you the ultimate maid. Most people wouldn't do that. Please let me know if you have a request. Given our situation, I will not take monetary payment. I will <laughs> grant your wishes. I will do anything you ask. Anything, huh? It's kind of intimidating if you say it like that. Slap? <laughs> yeah, more things to slap. A cleaning machine. Oh, I guess we'll inspect that then. Some powerful cleaning tools. You can get a lot of cleaning done with these. Washing machines? A lot of washing machines in here. No drying machines? Slap, 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 slap. Is that it? Hmm. I guess so. Huh. The stool, the stool. Yeah. What was that? I slapped. I didn't even see. It was a broom. There's another stool. I don't think it matters. Yeah. 
but we'll try to stop everything. I guess that's it for this place. No Monokumas. I'm so disappointed. Maybe they only come out during free time. Boo. So I don't think they were out in the other place oh, right away either. there was Angie. I saw her down there. Oh, now we're up here. So you remember we came here, oh. we were like looking up here like, how can we get there? Mm-hmm. Well, that's how. There's a secret passage. I think. Yeah, I don't see anything up here now. No Monokuma's waiting or anything. Boo. So let's see. What is Angie? There's a, a mimic. Oh, there's another floor. Yeah, I thought there would probably be some more floors at school. I'll talk to Angie first. This looks like going to his room back here. Yes, it does. Shuichi, we've been waiting for you. Hurry, hurry, we're all ready. Hurry? Hurry for what? Well, before we go into Gonta's room... I'm gonna... <laughs> what is this, a treasure chest? No. Yahoo, we found a treasure chest. Why don't you open it, Shuichi? Do you know this is a trap? Huh? Really? I should open it? Uh, yep. I believe this treasure chest is saying you should open it, Shuichi. I'm getting the sense that she thinks it's dangerous wants me to open it. All right, fine. With sweaty palms, I cautiously open the chest and... Huh? Okay, it didn't eat us. What is this, a flashlight? No, it can't be just a flashlight. It's a ghost Yahoo! flashlight. Maybe try turning it on? Hey. No, it's too dangerous. We should inspect it. Uh -huh. Hmm, it'll be okay. Even the flashlight is saying, turn me on. Turn me on. Hurry up and turn me on, Shuichi. It's begging you. <laughs> okay, it's starting to sound kind of odd. Then... If you're so eager, why don't you flip the switch, Angie? Well then. Then I'll meet you halfway and inspect this flashlight myself. All right. Huh? Meeting me halfway, huh? Bayonara. Once you understand, I'll come teach you. Bayonara. Wait, what? I, uh, okay. I, I don't know. N never mind. Oh, Angie snatched the flashlight from me and ran off with a bounce in her step. Great. But. Wait, inspect it? How? Is there something else inside? It's the only oh. thing. No Monokuma. Just double checking to be sure. That would have been a good spot for one. I know, I was thinking, wait a second, let me throw it out here. Gee, so not only do we have that other, like, area to inspect outside, but we also have a third floor now, too. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's check out this. Could it be the ultimate entomologist lab? Probably. And it is. Where are the bugs? Hopefully there are some. We're going to be very disappointed. Ugh. Wait, are those fake bugs? Yeah, look at that. They're on Aww. wires. Look at all those bugs. Insect specimens line the entire wall. It was a little... No, very gross. Amazing. This paradise. I suppose I should keep my opinion to myself for now. Yeah, that's right. We don't want to upset Gonta about the bugs. I wonder where Kokichi went. Amazing. Made to the third floor. Gonta wonder how many bugs there are. Gonta so excited he'd get his own special room. Mm. We'll make this room anyway. Gonta need to say thank you. Uh, um, I guess it was Monokuma and the Monocubs. Now they probably didn't make it, they just unsealed it to us. Or allowed us to unseal it. No way, Monokuma? Yeah. But no person who likes bugs can be a bad person. Gonta sad. <laughs> Poor Gonta. Alright, let's see all these specimens here. There are a ton of insect specimens on display. Wow! Pretty! Bugs shine brighter than sparkly rocks. Mm. Gonta understand. Person who made these samples must love bugs. Each sample made with love and care. Putting love and care into bugs? Well, I suppose everyone's different. I kept reading that Gonta's voice even though it wasn't his first in there. Oh well. Wow, that is an extraordinary amount of extraordinary amount of bug cages. Hmm, lots of larvae and eggs, and they even sleepy in cool place. Uh, um. They are refrigerated. But it's okay. Eggs probably hatch if going to take good care of them. Well, well do your best then. All right, Gonta. If all these hatch, there will be bugs all over the academy. When we see all these bugs in a new world, it's like that Bible story. Noah's Ark. If I remember correctly, the world was destroyed by a great flood, and humans and animals began... Now, perhaps that's a little too dramatic. I wonder... Hmm... Interesting indeed. Arranged books. 
There are a lot of books here. They all seem to be related to insects. That's strange. I wonder why. Uh, all right, well, that's it for the searchables. Now for the slappables. Poor bugs. <laughs> Don't they be so pissed off at us? What about the flying ones and the bug, the bee's nest or whatever? Nope. Oh, wait. Bee's nest was a slappable thing, but these aren't. But one of them's gone now. Was it? The bee's nest is gone, but I don't know about the bugs. I thought there were four before. Maybe not. Never mind. Yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, and that's it on the screen. Alright, not much in Goat's room. He doesn't even get a closet. Aw, poor guy. Well, I guess since we're already here, we'll go up to the third floor. Makes sense. Looks like I can get to the third floor from oh, here. They're a little scary, but I'll try it. Aw. Why are they scary? Just a little scary. It's unknown. Oh, the, the tennis, tennis room. lab. I wonder if he's already up here now. He was downstairs before. Hmm. Yeah, I think so too. What have I been here? Probably rackets and training equipment. And a court? Yep, that makes sense. Oh. oh, God. Wow. I mean, I guess that's one way to practice. It's scary. An entire indoor tennis court. This is impressive. Um, This is your lab, right, Ryoma? Must be nice having a whole tennis court here. I don't care. I have nothing to do with tennis anymore. Nothing to do with tennis? Hey! Ryoma, are you really not going to play tennis what anymore? What was that? Tennis? Who the hell plays a hoity-toity sport like tennis? Hmm. Sure. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. You're a tennis player, aren't you? I threw away my past. It's fine if you forget. That was a long time ago. <laughs> so, when you killed a mafia with your badass tennis skills, was that a long time ago, too? Wait! Hey, come on, Mew. What was that? What? It really happened, yeah? No. Yeah, it's true. You said no! Weird voice acting choice. Thanks to that, even if I escape from here, I'll just go straight to a different prison. Hmm. So it'd be meaningless for someone like me to play tennis now. And why are you staring at that tennis court with such sad eyes, Ryoma? Are you a little bitch? Because you're acting like a little bitch right now. Dude, Mio. Quit it. What? What's with the stare down? You're scaring me. Hey! Oh, now this is an interesting machine. Um, you mean the tennis machine? I guess so. Uh, um. An interesting machine? You mean the one swinging the racket? Ah! With a few mods, this bad boy will look real good. Yeah, my creative juices are flowing. I guess this could technically be used as a weapon, too. Mm -hmm. so good. Oh, Big metal arm. <laughs> um, coming from her, it has to be inappropriate. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, let's not ask her any more questions. Oh, there's shower a shower room. room. Why does it look so dangerous? That is a very ominous shower room. Is there a closet or something in the back? There's a shower room in the back. <laughs> a shower room? Why don't you boys go in and give each other a good scrub down? You're already the perfect height, Ryoma. <laughs> You'll be lined up just right when you turn around to face Shuichi. I have no more words for this. And neither does Ryoma. I was just kidding. I thought you'd laugh. Of course. Ooh, is that... Oh, uh -oh. it's the door. Okay, that was like a special rocket or something. I was trying to click on the net initially. A tennis net. It's stretched tight and looks sturdy. Slap. Really? That's it then, huh? Slap. But where are all the Monokumas? Whoa. Oh god, every ball. I'm surprised Mew isn't coming to you on this. Touch the balls, Shuichi. Oh, you're gonna slap all his balls, huh? No? Can't get those on the other side, I guess? What is this machine now has to say? What about the cart in front of the machine? No. <gasps> yes. Yeah, sometimes you have to be very specific with your angle. 
Wait, what's this door for? Nothing. That's weird. A door to nowhere. Ooh, the racket to the right. Yeah. And that cart behind me. Yeah. Good job. Nice slapping. All right, that should be good enough. I guess we'll see you guys later. Bye. Farewell. Which way? Which way? It's a courtyard. That we can't yeah, that's see weird. it. What Why is that kind of blocked side? off? So we can't see down. I wonder if that's some kind of importance. Hmm. There's no one around here. Weird. That's a mysterious door. Large very door. Pixelated. Hmm. What is this? It looks like a door, but... Oh, I see. It's just a painting of a door. It looks like a video game. I think it's called pixel art. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, oh look! A Monokuma! He is here! Alright, so they are out in the force It's the right same now. one that... The first one that we found the first time. We got you. Hmm... I hope we didn't miss any more. Damn it. Alright, got another lab over here. For the child caregiver. I have no idea what kind though. I should take a look inside. Oh, was it? As I reached my hand to the door. I thought there was a baby on the symbol on the map. Stop it. Mm. I of did course. not give you permission to enter. Huh? Ah, Maki. So this is the ultimate child caregiver's lab. You wouldn't think so, judging by the door. That's true. You're so right. Goodbye. Is she lying about what she is? I don't know. I think... Well, I'm speculating. But... She doesn't want us to go in here. And we just said it doesn't really look like the ultimate child giver's lab. Mm -mm. The only thing we really had to go off of about what her role is was what she told us in the beginning. That's and true. I guess what it says in the monopad, which... He doesn't usually lie about, but... I don't know. Weird. Oh. Wait, can I look inside for a bit? <laughs> yeah, this is very suspicious. Huh? What? But there's no rule against people going to each other's labs. I don't know. I don't care about the rules. I'm not letting anyone inside. Huh? What's going on? Hey! Hey! What's going on? You guys aren't in the middle of a tiff now, are you? <sighs> See? Thanks to you, an annoying brat has showed up. <laughs> Aww. You hear that, Shuichi? An annoying Brad showed up all because of you. Uh, okay. Yeah. So? So what's up? You don't want anyone to enter your lab, Maki? Don't be so pushy, Shuichi. It's not good to do stuff that'll make a girl upset, you know. Uh, um... Okay, I understand. Then... Good, then stay away. If you try to go inside, it would be extremely painful. For you. Wow. Painful? Alrighty. Whoa, Jesus! <laughs> Scare the crap out of me. What is it? What? Are you gonna yell at me now? No. No, not at all. Then, then go away. Jeez. So rude. The monocles. What happened to your lab, Kokichi? What it's happened to our yet? lab? Well, no. It's not good to do stuff that make a girl right. upset, you know. But still, doesn't it bug you that she won't let us in? I wonder why. I feel like he's going to try to break in at some point, because he seems the type to want to do that. Mm -hmm. She can't guard it constantly. Yeah, I find this very suspicious. It's just a red door. Well, I guess that's everything inside of the school. The other stuff looks like it must be outside. Alright, so let's go on over and take a look at that place. I guess we could fast travel to get there a little bit quicker. Um, let's see. Yeah, we finally get to meet up with him again. We left him hanging for so long. <laughs> Alright, we'll finally open this up. I wonder what item we'll use. 
Uh, come on. I forgot it was called a protrusion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what the hell is with all those letters? I don't know. We still don't know what the horse is about. Uh. Whoa! It opened so suddenly it freaked me out. No. But my hunch was right on the money. So that junk was for opening this. Alright! Let's go inside. Right behind you. Wow, it's just us going here? Looks like a significantly large area, actually. Night spot. Whoa. I bet there's a Monokuma here somewhere. Is it like a dome? Why is it all dark inside? But we can see it from the outside. That's weird. Well, I got a couple of areas. Wait, can we not actually go inside this? Oh. Two guests, two hours. Oh, that sounds interesting. I wonder if this will become important. Hmm. Shuichi, well, I did not expect this of you. Wait, is this animal hotel? Oh, I are didn't there notice that. Inside? That makes it even more disturbing the Kuma <laughs> Sutra. Wow. It's all a right. Kuma Sutra, duh. Yeah. Uh I guess the model kids are inside and I don't want to know what they're doing. So we can't actually go in, it looks like. Oh, you couldn't click on it and go in? Can we? No, I guess we can. Or just read this. For some reason, I didn't think to click on it. What is this building? I'm not sure I like the implication. <laughs> oh, that is it. Okay. No Monokumas anywhere? Golden time? <laughs> this looks more promising. Whoa, the this music. is awesome. What is this place? Is this like a casino? Dangan Vegas. It does say casino. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty awesome. Rise and shine oh. Shine. Why, hello, bear. <laughs> <laughs> this place is not like a casino. It is a casino. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this place is a casino. You can earn lots of mono coins and exchange them for fabulous prizes. Yep, yep, you sure can. <laughs> I'd be surprised if this was like a Monokuma uh, casino and we couldn't lose our lives too in the process. Mm. That was wonderfully amateurish, Mono Dam. It had a flavor not even Father could match. That's right. In a sense, you've surpassed Daddy. Okay. Which makes you a grandpa, Mono Dam. Grandpa Mono Dam. Mono Grand. <laughs> Okay. Bye. Casino? Why is a casino in a place like this? Welcome, welcome. At this casino, you can use special casino coins and play various games. You can exchange mono coins for coins at the cashier. Once you exchange them, they can't be exchanged back. So know what you're doing. But now you should be able to see how many coins you have. The coins you've saved up can be exchanged for fabulous prizes at the prize exchange counter. So that's how you get more items, I guess. Mm. We're always getting new prizes in, so look forward to that. There are games for you to try in the basement. Go ahead. Let's play. Let's play. Wow, that's pretty fancy. So we actually do little mini games here? I wonder if we could only do that in free time if we could do it right now if we wanted to. Hmm. I guess you There's could try There's the exchange counter. Let's go visit it. That's the premium exchange counter. Yes, indeed. Unknown. Hmm. These are mostly like items you would equip like in an RPG or something. I wonder if you actually, mm -hmm. cause there were outfits, but I think that's just for the mono pad. Unless you can equip some things. Mm. Book of the Blackened. <laughs> wow. So there's a lot of cool items you can get from here, I guess. But we'd have to get the, uh, earn enough coins to actually get them. Mm -hmm. Wait, you can get skills too from this? Ooh. Now that is definitely useful. This is sold out for now. Well, that's very interesting. I guess we're going to spend a lot of time here at some point. Mm -hmm. right, I'm not going to do anything for now. So I guess stuff is downstairs. Can we slap this stuff up? 
Yeah. Obviously. Oh, there's another level. The bar counter, nothing we can do at the bar, though. I have to look out for the Monokumis, too. Alright, let's slap all this stuff. One more table, one more table. Good job. Let's see what's downstairs. I guess Kaito must be down here? Yeah. I wonder if he loves this stuff. Got it. Oh, look, Shuichi! Kaido shouted and pointed at a treasure of coins in front of him. Uh. Whoa, where'd you get that amount of coins? Huh? I hit the jackpot! I got this much from just one coin. Huh? Lucky. All this from just one coin? That's incredible. Huh. It's a regular day for the luminary of the stars. My intuition usually leads me to victory. Uh -oh. Nice work, Maverick! That's some uncanny luck you got there! Whoa. Don't just jump out like that! <laughs> My bad! I was lured here by your lucky streak! Nice hole you got there! You could cash in those coins for something really splendid! What character is he playing? Well, well. They're only good here, though! But if you earn more, you can reach the best treasure in this place! Huh. After hearing that, there's no going back for me! Huh? But you could trade in what you have already now! What are you saying? If I don't meet his challenge, then I'm not a true man. Oh no. Besides, there's no way my intuition as Luminary of the Stars can be wrong. That's nice. That's it, Maverick. Get a man. Oh no. Hopefully he doesn't- Oh no. <laughs> and thus began the sad tale of Kaito's downfall. He's gonna lose his shirt at the casino. What? Damn it, not again. Well, well. What's wrong, Maverick? You're down to half your coins. Wouldn't it be best to walk away now? It's just half. I'm gonna get everything back. Just you watch me. But he's not going to. Kaito inserted one coin after another, but that one never came. Damn. Th this is my last coin. Let's go. This is where I'm gonna have my dramatic comeback. Just you watch. Kaito slid in his last coin to the slot, but the determined stare pulled the lever. Right here! Uh, uh, uh. Too bad. Your intuition was totally wrong, Kaito. Man, I'm glad I built this casino. Watching suckers lose everything is hilarious. <laughs> I wonder if there is a way for us to win here. Damn. I was set up. If only it stopped when I was ahead. You do hear that a lot from people who have gambled their way everything. They think they could win just a little bit more, and end up destroying themselves. I'm gonna quit gambling forever, you can bet on that. <laughs> that is also typically what those people say. Oh, Kaito. Lost it all in the gambling slots. Anyway, I guess while we're at this casino, we'll save here for now. Looks like a pretty good place, plus we have the awesome music to listen to. That's true. So, next time, maybe we'll check out some of these games, see if we could win anything. And if not, I guess we'll meet up with all the students and see if there's anything else we could do. Until then, guys, take care.